don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we will be continuing our look at the Dino Force robot team. This is the uh, KO version of the Power of the Primes Dinobots. Today we have the privilege of taking a look at the DN02, their version of Grimlock. And I have made this comment before, this color scheme is very unique say that and it only works uh, if you consider these guys to be a form of G2 Dinobots if you can do that if you can make that connection to G2 then these things are fine they're they're fine uh, side of the box back of the box you've got him in a heroic form um, he combines it shows that we get the Velociraptor I don't know yet we'll see I have uh, the flying one, the Pteranodon, whatever it is. I have that one coming, so he may be yellow. Side of the box, top of the box, bottom of the box. All right, what do you say we crack this bad boy open and see what we get? Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, right out of the box, uh, you can see him here. He's got this little piece of plastic covering that spot right there. Uh, he came with a sword. Okay. And he came with a blaster. Okay. And... He can hold both, maybe? Well, that sword doesn't want to go in, but it will. So, yes, he can hold both. All right. Maybe. Boy, that was tight. All right. So, I tell you what. Why don't we take a second here? And because he is... Grimlock and Grimlock is currently a part of Volcanicus for me. I'm going to go ahead and Show the scale with Volcanicus Now again, this is the in case you don't know. This is the Volcanicus with the uh, TW TDW Whatever set it is. It's a it's an upgrade set. So he's already a little bit bigger Let me zoom in here just so you all can see the difference he comes up to the crotch of Volcanicus. So there's always that. So when I do scale comparisons, I'll take Volcanicus here and I'll disassemble him uh, because that's that's basically what it's going to entail. And we will take a look at the figure in that manner. The instruction sheets, uh, extremely simple, but I mean, I happen to know this figure, so it shouldn't be that difficult. <clears throat> Hopefully, that's what he says. All right, why don't we zoom in here and take us a, a better look at the figure. Right off the bat, you can see he has a red visor, and it's a very Grimlocky head, if, if that makes sense. Uh, the shoulders have some uh, gold on the red and it actually looks pretty good if you can see it um, this is white plastic yeah it doesn't feel like paint plastic paint I've got a little bit of paint chippage right here if you can see just a little bit of red uh, some black gray paint moving down the figure we get a little bit of gray paint there on the thighs coming on down the figure we get um, 
some gold paint, and he's got some black on his toesies. So, the side of the figure looks like this. Back of the figure looks like this. He, he's got a nice heft to him. And, let's see, for measurements, he's coming in at, I would say, seven and three quarters to the top of his head. Shoulder to shoulder, uh, we're looking at five inches, would be my guess. Depth-wise, let's see here. His chest sticks out a little bit further than his feet. So, looking at this to the back of his wings, I'm going to call that at four inches. Pretty close, <clears throat> if not exact. So, he's a pretty good sized robot. Let's see here. Why don't I tilt down just a little bit so that we can get a better look at Grimmy here. Articulation, the head can go around that far so he can almost look all the way back. He gets caught up in that shoulder flap there, that back flap. The arms are on a ratcheted joint. They go out to there. So he can definitely go wee. Okay. They go, oh, listen to those ratchets. They go all the way around. Now these are a soft ratchet, but still. The elbows, double jointed bend, gives you everything you need. The hand can go in or out, depending. Let's see, waist swivel. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. It is hindered by the kibble on the back, which die cast. That's uh, die cast. The legs. He can, if you move the butt flap out of the way, he can do the full American. Hear those ratchets, folks. That one, not so much. He can more than do the Chinese. <clears throat> Listen at that. But not on this side. All right. Thigh swivel is built in here at the knee joint. We get 90 degrees of bend on a beautiful ratchet. Listen at that. The feet are a solid piece and don't really move. So he's pretty much a, a brick as far as the feet go. But he has some really nice sounding ratchets. This side's not as, as good as that one though, just to be safe. Yeah, Oaks, pardon me. Uh, let's see here. I think this is the point where I need to add some scale comparisons, some other bot comparisons, isn't it? So let's transform old not Grimlock here. Um, collapse the thumbs, the hands in, straighten out the legs, uh, open the chest cavity up here. It will unfold like this. You can bring it down, bring the legs together and pin those together, bring your tail down. Snap it into place, bend the legs and the tail a little bit, go ahead and, as I said, bring this down and it will collapse and connect right there, all nice and together like. Um, bring these wings around like this, close them off so that they're like this, bring the head up, pop it into place. Bring the feet down and rotate the little dino arms. And here we have Grimlock in his dino mode. In this mode, he is measuring approximately, if I had to eyeball it, I would say about 10 and a half inches. Shoulder to shoulder, we're looking at close to five, if I had to eyeball it.
height wise obviously this is going to vary depending on how you have the legs but just right here we're looking at about five and a half okay uh, this is a good spot right here to go ahead and throw in some scale here So, to take Grimlock to his combined form, I've never been very good at this, so if I flub this, I do apologize ahead of time. Um, we crack everything back open. Um, open up this chest here. Get this these pieces out of the way. Uh, pull down. How's this work again? Open this up, pull this, rotate it around. Uh, this will come forward and will set. If I do it right, it'll set. It's supposed to set right there, isn't it? Mm. Come on, Tommy boy, you're a college professor. Surely you can get this right. Well, one would hope. One would hope. Hmm. Legs kind of come at an angle here. Okay. Um, let's think here. The head comes out right here. And come on, you can come out. Don't be shy. That's a pretty head. I can just get the doggone thing out. Stand by. <sighs> okay. So, to get the thing out, this thing actually popped off, and I'm not entirely sure which way it goes on. Um, I hope it's that way. I really, really do. Regardless, um, let's see here if I can remember how exactly this goes. This comes up. These, I think, come together in the back some way or another, if memory serves. Um, crap, I can't remember. I know it comes together like this, and then there's a post that fits into this slot right here. Where is the post? Maybe it comes around like this. Mm. All right, oh, here it is. Sometimes trial and error is the only way to get things done, folks. I mean, it's truly surprising the number of times that is actually accurate. All right, like that. Pull that down, collapse it in, pull that in, collapse it in, like that, pull this up and around, and this will tab in right there. We're getting it, we're getting it. Tab this in right here, swing this up, swing this round, kind of like that. And these will plug in right here. See, I'll get it. Just takes me a little bit. And I think, I think that's his combined mode, if I remember right. And eh, you can do whatever the hell you want to with the arms. But man, look at that head. Is that not a cool ass head sculpt? Let's see if I can. Oh, hold, hold up here now, brother. Stand up. Stand up. Let's see if I can't zoom in on that head sculpt. I like it. I like how the colors have uh, the golds and the whites and the blacks. They look really good like this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this. At least like this. So, what do you say 
we add some limbs to him and see how that works. Let's see here. I don't know what I feel anymore. I've opened up the door to nowhere. And if you've not done it all before. That was not effective. Let's see here. Uh, I do kind of wish there was oh, some way to get this thing to lock in with the legs, but I don't really see a way to do that. This thing has all of the floppiness that the original one has. And not really any of the stability when you when you throw in one of the kits because you can't throw a kit in here because it doesn't fit so what do you do um, all of the floppiness none of the security that the uh, kit provides. Hmm. I mean, he's a he's a goodly sized combiner, and I don't necessarily think that the floppiness here is necessarily directly proportional to him. Uh, point in case, here it is with Abominus, Power of the Primes line. He's he's a good head taller. And here it is with Quantron. Again, uh, more than a head taller in that instance. So, yeah. I don't think, I really don't think this is going to work as a combiner. I, I just, I think it's too floppy. They've added die cast to it. I don't know. I could be wrong. I was wrong back in the summer of 78, but that, was, that wasn't my fault either. So, yeah. Final thoughts wise, uh, Nemesis, what the hell are you doing there? Well, I figured if Wheelie could do it, why the hell couldn't I? Um, okay then. Uh, final thoughts wise, if you're looking for a G2 Dinobot, Boy, if it's not Nemesis, it's the dog causing problems in the background. She's getting her a drink. Sorry about that, folks. But um, if you're looking for a G2 Dinobot, I think this would be just absolutely great. Uh, I think it would it would solve all of your problems. It looks good in Grimlaw as a robot mode. It looks decent, pretty decent in um, dinosaur mode. The plastic quality is good. The paint is good. Again, if you're looking for a G2, I recommend it. If you're looking for uh, the set to combine into Volcanicus, I can't recommend it. It's just too floppy. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next review. I've got uh, Swoop. He's actually in the mail on the way, so we'll see him next. Thanks for watching, folks. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Vitamin John. Apparatus are standing by.